Joining me today in the technical corner is Frank Martin of Kenner Metal, and we're going to be talking about drilling. Frank, welcome to the show today. And to start with, can you tell us a little bit about your huge drilling portfolio at Kenner Metal? Hello. Yes, thank you for that opportunity. Um, Kenner Metal has a wide range of homemaking solutions, um, starting from solid drills, modular drills, over to indexable drills. So solid drills actually offer the highest precision and certainly the smallest diameter range and highest productivity. Uh, a modular drill uh, would cover a bigger diameter range uh, and offers the same uh, productivity as a solid carbide drill as it carries the same geometries. And going beyond that diameter range, we also offer um, indexable drills with certainly index, uh, different indexable inserts to cover different materials. So depending on the customer needs, we can offer different solutions. The best example is the, the capability and the will to regrind. A solid carbide drill uh, you know, has the best economity when you offer regrinds. So you need to have the skilled personnel on the shop floor to decide if a drill is worn out or not, if you can use it on or not. And you need to have the logistics. You need to have drills on the machine, drills in the inventory, drills on the road to be regrinded. If you don't uh, want to do that, if you don't want to handle that, or if you have a di bigger diameter range or less need for precision, you could switch to a modular drill. So you just exchange the tip or you just exchange the inserts and you are ready to go again. Yeah, Kenner Metal would say you've gotten the largest drilling portfolios in the world. You would be right, all the way from small solid carbides all the way up to some bespoke, very large drills. Um, my question to you is you've got universal, universal drills, but you've also got drills specific to material groups. Today, I want to talk to you about your new drill, the HPR, and why it should be used in cast iron. So just to start, can you tell us why this drill was brought to the marketplace? The drill was designed to cover applications just in cast iron. So it's a drill that was designed for the mass manufacturer. Those guys who are machining every day one and the same workpiece and have a very high output. So whenever they can machine faster, they can gain capacity and can gain productivity. This drill is a material specific design for highest cutting parameters and longest tool life. In comparison to that, we also offer universal tools, but these universal tools are for rather small, flexible job shops that have a need for you know, changing work pieces. They don't want to have uh, inventory of certain tools for certain materials. They want to have inventory of drills that can cover it all. So our material-specific design of the HPR drill is dedicated for those customers in general engineering and transportation that machine cast iron materials. Um, what features have you built into the tool um, that makes it bespoke to cast iron? I, I, I note quite a few things on the video, things like um, having four margins on the drill and some of the radii and some of the unique geometries. So maybe you can tell us a little more. Yes. Um, Kenner Metal is pretty famous for its HP geometry, um, the, the old sculptured edge design um, that enables very high feed rates. The downside is that you sometimes create high cutting forces. And so for cast iron, when you design a drill for cast iron, you certainly select a certain edge preparation and you certainly need a kind of corner protection. Um, usually a cast iron drill would show a corner chamfer that is there to avoid the breakouts on, on through holes on cast iron materials. Um, a corner radius would do an even better job. Uh, it in, improves the protection of the cutting edge corner it increases the tool life and at the same time, it also improves the whole quality. Um, our HP point is now um, added with a, a patented gashing. That patented gashing actually helps to uh, really perfectly center the drill on rough cast iron surfaces that certainly plays a whole, uh, role in uh, regards to hole accuracy. And then this gashing also is opening the coolant channels so that the chips are easily flushed out and that you have a good coolant flow which avoids thermal shocks to the cutting edge and to the carbide. And on top of that, we are adding a four margin length design that is also quite typical for cast iron drills because cast iron workpieces typically have um, through holes or inclined exits or sometimes even inclined entries and to stabilize the drill there and ensure best 
a whole straightness and whole accuracy, a far margin then is the better solution. Yeah, so it's it's worth point it's worth pointing out that obviously being quite a short chip in material cast iron, in theory it should be easy to drill, shouldn't it? But um, castings aren't quite as good as maybe they were some years ago potentially, and there's a lot of inclusions and there's some holes. So it's productivity is one thing, but how is this drill for process stability? Um, what we have improved on our end is uh, not only the design features, but also the way how we manufacture the drill. So we have tighter tolerances than on any other drill that we launched before. And we have uh, new manufacturing processes. We have more automated processes and more precise processes to uh, provide a tool that is even more reliable than the solution that we had before. So tighter tolerances mean you know, better repeatability better predictability and with the longer life you know you have longer cycle times of the tools so the advantage for the customer would be that he needs to carry less inventory of drills and the final one for me really it's presumably this is a new drill so you've benchmarked benchmarked the drill against competition and previous kenna metal designs so how is this um, you know, on the benchmarking process how does this drill stack up against maybe other kind of metal drills and, and other drills in the marketplace? Yeah, um, the answer to that is similar to what you asked before. Um, one of the reasons why we brought this drill to the marketplace is because we have other very uh, successful solutions out there in the marketplace, like the HPC geometry or the YPC geometry, which would, was the latest generation that was based on an uneven design. Um, those tools um, are pretty good solutions, but what we wanted to achieve is we wanted to have one solution for cast iron materials and we want to replace all the current solutions that we are selling currently to the marketplace to combine you know, these lots in our manufacturing to drive down our costs you know, uh, and uh, reduce complexity in our manufacturing processes. So if I can ask you to conclude, I know we've already talked about it, but what would make an engineering company invest in this drill and why should they? Very clear, if you have interest to drive down your costs, if you want to increase your capacity, if you want to reduce your uh, cost per hole, that tool is certainly a, a, a drill of choice because it was specifically designed for cast iron materials to be run at very high cutting parameters, especially high feed rates. And at the same time, we were able to improve the tool life even further. So with the combination of high feet and uh, cutting parameters with a longer tool life gives us a better um, cost position. On the other hand, we also achieve better hole straightness and better hole quality. So for example, for tapping operation afterwards, a perfect hole is also improving the tool life of the following hole. Frank, so just finally, how do engineers find out more? Two basic recommendations, go to kenametal.com, you can find uh, our landing page there, you can also find it with your favorite search engine, type in Kenametal HP Artwell and you will be led directly to our homepage. And the other option would be YouTube. If you go to YouTube, enter HP Artwell, you will find two amazing videos showing the features of the drill and on the other hand, a strange application in cross hole capability. Thank you very much for your time today, Frank. So engineers, if you're looking to improve your processes, drilling in particular, especially during cast iron machining, get in touch with the team at Kenner Metal. Thank you for watching.